Hi, this is Tracy HD. I want to thank you for joining me today for our monthly April 2017 tarot reading. And this is going to be for the sign of Virgo. As I shuffle the deck, I ask all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. And for the beginning of the month, we'll take the top card. And for the middle of the month, we're going to take a card from the center. And the end of the month, we're going to take a card from the bottom. Okay, very, very interesting. Here we have Four of Pentacles. Okay, and in the beginning of the month, this Four of Pentacles, okay, has you holding on too tightly to what you have. Okay, um, sometimes we feel secure uh, when we have possessions, when we have some money in our pocket. But we don't need to hang on that tightly. Um, this is the card uh, typically of someone who would be like a miser who's just hoarding money, not enjoying themselves, just, you know, putting money away, never taking any money out and spending it on themselves. So what you want to do is you might be overly focused on financial matters at the beginning of the month. You want to loosen your grip, okay? Um, you're just feeling the need to, to grasp onto things just way too tightly. Um, and you're feeling that, you know, maybe you want to improve your finances, but you're not sure if something like that is going to come about. So you're holding on to what you have, but you don't need to. Okay. You're going to be provided for. And I know a lot of Virgo people that are very, very good with money. Okay. They're very sensible when it comes to their spending. So I would say you can loosen your grip up a bit here. You don't have to worry so much about your finances. And then here we have the Nine of Swords. And I love the full moon up here. And we have these Nine Swords. And this woman, her body language tells it all. Okay. Um, the swords are our mentality, our thoughts, the way we think. And this woman here, okay, she's disappointed with something. She's, she's feeling such anxiety. Okay. But she's doing this to herself. And we all do this to ourselves. We are all guilty of self-inflicted suffering. We get a negative thought in our mind and we believe that it's reality when it's just a thought. And what happens is, is we allow this thought to grow until it snowballs in to a one-way trip to the doldrums like this. Okay? So we're feeling disappointed over something. Okay, but it's not as bad as it seems. Whatever it is that you're going through in the middle of the month, you're going to be fine. Don't allow this to take over. Okay, don't allow yourself to be consumed by the suffering and these negative thoughts in your mind. Maybe it's something to do, you know, with your finances here that you're just keeping yourself up at night over. Um, it, don't allow this fear to blind you. Okay. You may have a tendency in the middle of the month to make things seem worse than they actually are. Don't give in to that drama. Because at the end of the month here, we have the Six of Wands. Okay, and what a beautiful card. I love the golden color. And we have the sun shining like right in the middle of the card. And, and it's gorgeous. I don't know if the camera is picking up on this, but it's a very beautiful card. And that sun really sticks out. And that sun is shining on you at the end of the month, okay? This Six of Wands here is telling you that you're going to be recognized for some type of achievement, okay? Maybe you're getting some type of promotion at work or whatever you've been doing. You're going to achieve some type of a goal at the end of the month. So whatever's taking place here that you're worried about, okay, is all for nothing because you have the sun, okay? You have these Six of Wands, okay? You're going to be recognized, for something. You're going to be recognized by other people for doing a job well done. So don't give in to the dramatics of the middle of the month. Don't hold on too tightly here, feeling that you know you need to grasp things so tightly. Okay? You can loosen your grip. You can try to stay out of your head and not allow these negative feelings to take over because at the end of the month, you're going to be victorious. So you're just going to drive yourself crazy in the middle of the month for nothing. Okay. This is success. that's well-deserved. Okay. And for all of those hardworking, dedicated, self-disciplined Virgos out there, 
you deserve it more than anybody. So this is excellent. Um, very, very nice way to end the month with some type of achievement, some type of recognition, maybe a promotion. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back.